Hey everyone, it's Holly the Twister Sister and I've got a brand new tutorial for you guys today. Today is Memorial Day, but this tutorial would also be great for the 4th of July, Flag Day is coming up in June, and there's just a whole bunch of patriotic occasions that happen in America. Um, but you could also adapt this design for your own country as well. So I'm going to teach you this one today. We're going to need red, white, and blue balloons, of course. Um, all 260s, it doesn't really matter how much you blow these up, we won't be using a ton of the balloons. So I've left about four inches on all three of my colors. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've tied the red and white together. We're gonna do two loops on each of these colors. So squeeze out your balloon a little bit, fold it over, twist, squeeze, fold, and twist. Do the same thing for your white. Fold it and twist it, squeeze it, fold it, twist it. Could be a song, the Balloon Twister song. Okay, now I don't need the rest of this, but we will need a little bit of the white. So I'm gonna get rid of the red for now. Send that flying. I'm gonna use my tail. If you notice that your balloon, there's kind of like some uninflated bit in between your two twisted balloons, you can use these tails to wrap those around really tight and just kind of pull everything in together, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing for the white that's remaining, um, but I'm going to be a little sneaky here. <laughs> I'm gonna save this, and then I'm just gonna let some air out of this guy until I just have enough for one bubble. I'm gonna take both ends and tie them together. So this would be a great line work design, and if you're able to do this that I just did here, that helps speed things up for your line work as well. Now that we have this finished, we're gonna grab our blue balloon and we're gonna do three loops on this guy. So squeeze it out, fold it over, twist that knot into your twist, not just the nozzle, and pull it through. Two more times, squeezing, looping, twisting, squeezing, looping, and twisting. And again, we're gonna get rid of the rest on this guy. If you can't break your own balloons yet, I do have a video explaining in slow motion up close how I do it. A lot of people have success after they watch that video, but you can always bust out your scissors as well if you need to do that. Okay, so I've got two little clumps here. We are going to combine all of these. So I'm just gonna merge them together. Try to get everything in one hand. So then you can take your other free hand around three or four of those loops and twist them together. Now once you have your big ball of loops, we're just going to position everything how we want it. So we're gonna want all three blue loops to be beside each other. And then the red and the white loops are gonna alternate red and white. So just pick out one that's kind of out of place, pick it up and move it where you want it. Don't be scared to do this part. You're just gonna get those loops all where you want them. So we're almost there. Now we just need to switch these two to have our alternating stripes. So now you should have something like this. If it doesn't want to stay flat, um, it, you can it can help to do this on a table to if you're new at this to try to get everything straight or just use your fingers and kind of wedge them in there to hold everything straight. And then you want to use your little ball that we made. <laughs> we're going to take the tail on that guy and we're just going to wrap it around the middle of our seven petal flower. And then just pull each loop Go to each pair of loops and just kind of pull them apart and reposition them so that they line up right next to each other, bubble against bubble, so that everything is nice and flat and straight looking. Okay, now if your loops are not all exactly the same size, do not worry. I always say nature is not perfect, so we don't have to be either. But also, I think especially for this design, um, if they're a little uneven, it kind of gives the idea of like fireworks a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you'll see that, but I think it looks fine um, even if the loops are not perfect. If you can get them perfect, that's great though. Um, the next thing to finish this off, if you are in a super crazy fast event, this will probably be fine. Maybe you could even do red, white, and blue alternating all the way around. But because I wanted this to be sort of like a flag flower, I put all the blue together and then you have the red and white stripes like a flag. And so we're just going to go in with a white paint pen and draw our white stars on to finish it off. 
or to make this even faster, you could carry some white star stickers with you and just pop those on really fast as well. So there you have it. Once you get all your stars done, it looks very fun and patriotic. And this is a really simple design. Now, you can, after you've got to this point, you can go ahead and put a green stem on here to make this an actual pretty flower that someone might want. You can put it on a headband to do a really pretty patriotic headband that all the moms are gonna wanna wear. <laughs> or you can take a hair tie or a 160 cut in half and tied the ends together to make the perfect size little wristband and then it becomes a really cool little flag flower bracelet. So that is our tutorial for today. I hope you guys like this one. Really simple, but I wanted to make sure to show it to you. There is clip art available for this guy in my store at the Twister Sisters Studios. And there's a whole bunch of other things to check out over there if you've never been. I've got custom balloon twister clothing that you can wear to your events, bags, and all kinds of things. Make sure to go over there and grab your clip art for this design so you can get your 4th of July menus ready because that'll be coming up sooner than you think. Also, stay tuned for an update video. I am going to pop back on here on YouTube and just kind of update everybody on where I've been for the last little while. My Twisterhood members already know, um, but I wanted to let everybody on YouTube know as well that I had some a diagnosis that kind of threw me off for a little while, <laughs> but I am doing so much better now. So I'll tell you guys all about that in another video if you're interested. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial, hopefully coming very soon. Bye-bye.